I consider myself a curious person, but I was not always this way. When I think of my childhood, I recall feeling insecure and afraid a lot. It feels to me almost as if my childhood has really only begun recently. I think it is because I shifted from being afraid to being curious, which only happened when I started to accept being in the unknown. We as children are plunged into this unknown world where frankly we do not understand what is going on. It's like we're a drop of rain falling into the ocean, unaware of its currents, creatures, depth, etc. Being in the unknown can be scary because we do not know when something can hurt us. Most of us have the cushion of our parents or guardians when we're little. But the unknowns of this world we find ourselves in far outlive our speck of a lifespan. After all, our human's brain can only know so much about this vast universe. This world we find ourselves in is full of unknowns. But because of how we function as humans with our systems and structures, we can feel like our lives have certainty. However, something that I can say with certainty is that we all find ourselves in the unknown from time to time. Each time we encounter newness or change in our lives, we enter an unknown world. It can feel uncomfortable to be in this unknown world because we do not know its characteristics or how it works. Encountering change or newness implies that it is outside our familiar patterns, experiences or understanding. In the past, knowing how the world around us functioned was crucial for our survival. We needed to know how we could use different plants, animals and various other resources to heal ourselves, fill our bellies, build shelters, etc. It was a matter of life and death. Our nervous systems still hold this memory, so we naturally feel uncomfortable when we're plunged into the unknown. Although we might not be able to transcend this survival mechanism, we can definitely work towards finding ways to deal with being in the unknown. A way in which I have learned to contemplate concepts and ideas is by visualizing them. I won't get into how that works for me in this video, but I just wanted to explain the difference between how I used to visualize the unknown before versus how I visualize it now. Earlier, I saw the unknown as a dark well, where one could fall endlessly, not knowing if they would dive into water or hard rock at the bottom. If your subconscious thinks of the unknown similarly, of course you'll find it scary. The only reason I don't find it scary anymore is because I now visualize the unknown as a new world that you can get acquainted with. Sure. This new world might be capable of hurting us, but something that undoubtedly comes with being in this world is learning and growth. Of course, we can grow and learn in familiarity as well, but then we're bound to keep repeating the same lessons on loop. I think it is crucial for us to step into the unknown in order to move forward in our lives. One practice that has helped me become comfortable with the unknown is making original art. If you've seen the video I made about dreams, you know that there was a time when I believed I couldn't make original art. One of the reasons why I felt that was true was because I had this false sense of knowing that I couldn't make original art because my technical skills were shit. Trust me. There's still shit. I cannot draw human figures without using references. I don't really understand how to apply light and shadow. 
I pick colors based purely on feeling and not color theory. But the reason why I can and do make original art now is because instead of becoming afraid or overwhelmed by the unknown, I encourage myself to get excited about the fact that there are infinite possibilities and that my art could be anything. That way, all my pressure to create melts away and I become free to play. However, it is not as simple as becoming curious and excited to deal with being in the unknown. We also have to accept the fact that we might fall and fail while exploring uncharted waters. At the end of the day, I cannot deny the fact that it feels shitty. It is how evolution has designed us. But I also know that the unknown holds so much potential, magic and creative possibilities. I know that because I run this entire channel in the unknown. I never know what I'm going to create in any video. Now you might think, how is it possible to create something without knowing what to create? And my answer to that question is life. Life shows me what to create. I start thinking about a new topic right after I upload a video. And it almost always comes from life experiences, be it my own or that of someone around me. Once I know the topic, I question myself about what it means to me based on what I have experienced related to it. It's mostly just me being curious and intuitively deciding what feels right and true to me. And my art has a mind of its own. I have no idea where it all comes from. All I know is that I have a vague feeling and visual in my mind that I explore through different mediums and materials. I have no clue whatsoever about what the end result will look like. And something that I found really helps with being in the unknown is either surrendering to it or embracing it. What I mean by that is accepting that we're in the unknown and not pressuring ourselves to know or do better. That way, we can become free to explore without having unrealistic expectations. I know the example I just shared is not applicable to all areas of life, but something that I wanted to highlight by sharing that specific example is the importance of keeping ourselves open to receiving opportunities and revelations from life itself. I strongly believe that if you keep your eyes, ears and mind open, you can very well find directions or solutions in unexpected places. Having that said, I still struggle with the unknown outside of my creativity. Honestly, art is how I navigate my life. It is how I understand myself and the world around me. It is also where I find solutions to my life's problems and challenges. In a way, all of life is creative in my eyes. And so, I find ways to bring creativity where apparently there is not. I think it is also important to note that creativity isn't confined to traditional art. Instead, it is a force that shapes every part of our lives. I am aware that this video is about the unknown and not creativity, but in my mind, I just cannot separate the two because to know something is to create meaning about it in some way, shape or form. And what is the unknown if not possibility itself? And that is all I have to express for today. Thank you so much for sticking around and listening to what I have in my heart. If this video has impacted you in any way, Please consider subscribing and sharing this video with your loved ones. Thank you so much for coming on this art trip with me and I'll see you in the next one.